When I was single, I spent a lot of time, an unreasonable amount of time, worrying about boys, being emotionally unstable, getting in and out of relationships that weren't working. Way too much time doing things that in retrospect weren't adding any value to me. If I was still single and in my 20s, I would spend way less time trying to get into that perfect relationship. Trying to get it right relationship-wise and investing so much time and so much effort in such relationships. Especially if you just can't seem to get it right or especially if they just don't seem to be working out. Don't invest so much of your youth, of the time that you have for yourself, like it's only you that you have to worry about. Don't spend that time worrying about something that's going to work itself out. I believe when you are young and you're single, that's the time that you owe yourself to invest in yourself, to build yourself up. I didn't spend so much time doing that and I'm now I feel like I'm trying to play catch up, read a lot more books, spend a, a lot more time listening to messages that would edify my spirit. You know, those were things that I did not do or did not do enough of being financially free is essential is crucial to our everyday life and just being able to live our dream so i wish that when i was single and in my 20s i'd spend a whole lot more time saving and not spending everything i had i didn't save enough and that's another thing you can do because it's just you at that point in time in your life or at this point in time in your life so all you have to do is manage a little bit of it for yourself and then invest invest in stocks in you know mutual funds uh index funds uh you know cryptocurrency whatever they may be that's the point in time where you might seem to be getting a whole lot of money i personally love to travel the world i love to see the world i think it's one of the things that has helped me become the person i am today and i think everyone should try to see as much of the world as they can in their lifetime so i wish i traveled a whole lot more i want to go to jamaica i want to go to you know the caribbean i want to go to the Maldives. i want to go to seashells I, like i want to go to japan south korea i want to go to these amazing countries you know all over the world go to india just see the world you know um but there is so much of there's only so much you can do when you're building a family especially as a young family so if you're single especially if you're making money don't just you know save all the money like i said or you should save you should also try as much as possible to travel even if it's to a neighboring country even if it's to another city if you don't have the money to, for international travel, even if it's to another city, I would be a whole lot more selfish than I was back then. And I want you to understand my point. A lot of people use the word selfishness in a bad way. And, and you know, it's not particularly a good thing to be selfish. However, you are young, you are at that point in your life where all you have to worry about is you. Okay, so put you first. So I wish I'd spent way more time putting myself first, being more considerate of myself. Put your dreams first, put your plans first, be more considerate of yourself. If you don't want to do something, don't put yourself in that situation just because you think it will make that person happy. If it's going to make that person happy but make you sad, then why do you want to do it? That doesn't make you a great person. You're only doing a disservice to yourself, to your own mental health. I wish I'd been nicer to myself. I wish I'd treated myself a whole lot better. But the more you treat yourself well, the more you understand your value and who you are and what you carry and how no one can come around and treat you anyhow. 
because they see the way you treat yourself they see the way you prioritize yourself they see the way the clothes you wear the shoes you wear they see that you pray they see that you read your bible they see that you trust god they see that you you know you you know how your life is going they see that you know what you deserve they see what you're working towards so if they don't fall into that line or into that plan they're not going to stay they will fall off by themselves and there is absolutely no need to force them to stay because guess what the one that will come and will fit will fit without struggling it will just fit i'll spend a whole lot more time doing what i want to do and not what other people want me to do there were so many decisions that I made back then that in retrospect, I made because I was expected to make them, not because I understood those decisions. Other people have their own lives. If they care so much about those things, they should go do it themselves. Do that thing that, 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 that you know, ignites your passion, that gets you going, that's your dream. You know that that wakes you up in the morning and makes you happy that wakes you up in the middle of the night and makes you happy go for it let me chip in here real quick it's going to be number 6a if you're keeping count that when the Bible says remember the Lord your God in the days of your youth the Bible wasn't kidding okay so if you want to serve God now is the time i'm telling you now is the time that time when you're young and you're single and you're you you have no worries of this world now is the time to serve i would have a youtube channel or i would have a business or some sort of investment i spent so much time in my 20s and whilst i was still single chasing only one dream i thought i needed to have a laser focus i thought that was all i needed to do um, to make my dreams come alive i didn't understand that i could be going I, I could still be focused but at the same time doing other things on the side to help my dreams come alive a lot more quicker a lot more easily and a lot more stress-free so in the place of chasing your dreams and building your dreams have some other investments i've never had a business i've never run a business and i know running a business isn't for everyone and that's why i'm not specifically saying oh you should have a business but what I'm saying is, in addition to chasing that dream, in addition to your nine to five job, in addition to you know your passion, do something else. Even if it isn't something that will bring you money, it doesn't necessarily have to bring, bring you money. Just have volunteer, do have an investment, do something else so that your life is not just all about that one thing i'd be more deliberate about the life that i want if i was young and single with no attachments in the world i'd be more deliberate i would make more informed choices um i wouldn't just go with the flow i wouldn't just say this is how they said people do it and so this is how i should do it the world changes its mind every day there was a time when being skinny was what the world wanted. There is now a time where having big boobs and having a big butt is what the world wants. The world is so fickle such that a time is going to come where the world wants big tummies, where that's the fashion. So instead of building your life, instead of building yourself to fit into the world, build yourself into what you want. Go after what you want. Be more deliberate about the decisions that you're making for yourself, the choices that you're making for your life. I would spend a whole lot more time having a whole lot more fun. I would say yes, I did have a lot of fun because I have some good memories that make me laugh or make me smile when I think about them 
other memories created by myself with my friends you know whatever the case was at the time but i still wish i spent a whole lot more time having a whole lot more fun i would come down take a deep breath and make better choices um i have a very larger than life personality i have a personality that just wants to get up and get doing the negative side of that personality is that sometimes i get so excited and so carried away that i don't take a deep breath think about my decisions over and over and over before making them and that led me to miss out on a few things back then you know maybe someone wasn't telling me no they were just telling me maybe but because i was so impatient i wasn't calm i heard the no and then i just ran with that when in actual fact what i'd been told was a maybe and not a no enjoy where you're at on the way to where you're going to my name is Olori Esho. please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this type of videos i create other exciting content as well let me know your thoughts your experiences down below in the comment section i'm sure i can relate to some of them okay thank you so much for watching i love you so much i can't wait to see you again very very soon i pray god blesses you your homes your marriages your relationships your singleness most importantly, I pray God blesses you. Remain in God and God bless you. Bye. Let me introduce you.